Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This time around, I have the Across the Storm main Easter egg solo guide that includes a challenge where you can't open any supply drops. This Easter egg guide won't include any consumables, that way you guys know that it is completely possible for everyone to do it, but if you have consumables, obviously feel free to use them. Now before we hop in game, let's go over the loadout that we will need to complete this Easter egg without opening any supply drops. Starting off with Frontline as your special ability, mods will be Specialist Training, Lucky Crit, and Determination, which is absolutely Absolutely necessary since we won't be able to get armor from supply drops. For your pistol, the 9mm sap with the akimbo attachment, and for your lethal, take in whatever you want. As for the guide, I'll be doing it slightly different this time by making it more efficient and straightforward. That's all you needed to know before the guide started, so let's begin. On round 1, head over to the first battery that's next to Electric Cherry and kill zombies near it by shooting them in the leg twice and then meleeing them. As soon as your meter fills up, use Frontline to gain 2 points of shield, but do not kill any zombies during this time that Frontline is on. Once your meter runs out, fill up the rest of the battery with the zombies that you have left, but make sure you leave at least one. Then make your way over to Pack-a-Punch, and to the left of this window you'll see a battery, melee it, and you will then be put into Geistcraft Vision for the rest of the match, which increases your FOV and it makes zombies turn invisible randomly. Go and purchase an SMG off the wall for 2,000 points as well as quick revive for 500 points and you can then kill the last zombie. On round 2, kill pests by meleeing them and kill normal zombies with your SMG. Then when you get your special meter back, activate frontline again to get full shield. After you kill all of the zombies except 2, you will then need to shoot a total of 9 fish that are scattered around. I'll go ahead and let the clip play out so you can see all of the 9 locations. When you're done shooting all 9 of the fish, go and purchase Double Tap for 2000 points then head over to this doorway in the projector room, kill the final zombies and once the round ends a floating fish will spawn near this ammo crate. And at this point I'm convinced whoever made this easter egg was definitely on some drugs. But uh, anyways, just stand next to the fish and it will then start to move to the first location where it will then spawn in a battery holder. Finish whatever objective round you get and as soon as it ends check these 6 locations for a battery wall buy. Once you find it, purchase it for 3,000 points and take it over to the fish and place it in the holder. For the rest of round 4, you will then need to fill up the battery with zombie souls. You'll know once you're done because your screen will shake for a couple of seconds and you should hear a loud electrical noise coming from the battery. Save whatever zombies you have left and go back to the fish that way you can guide it to the next location. It will then spawn another battery holder which of course requires another battery for 3,000 points. You can now go check all 6 of the locations again and when you find your battery while by, purchase it, take it over to the fish and place it in the holder. With whatever points you have left, keep buying the 500 point wall buy over and over again until you get jack of the boxes, but make sure you buy ammo from one of the crates before you do this. On round 5, go down to the projector room and fill up the second battery for Pack-a-Punch. Once it gets hectic, switch over to the battery with the fish, and once it gets hectic there, switch back to the Pack-a-Punch battery. Do this until both batteries are filled. Then kill off the rest of the zombies, except for one whistling so you can head back to the fish and guide it to its last and final location. Then search for the next battery while by, and when you find it, if you have enough points, purchase it and take it back to the fish, but this time, don't place it in the holder, but instead just drop the battery next to it. From round 6 to 8, your only priority should be to get your 9mm saps back, filling up the last battery for pack-a-punch, and trying to pack-a-punch both your assault rifle and pistols. There is literally nothing else to mention besides to just survive and get as many points as possible. 
by the end of round 7, you should hopefully have Pack-a-Punch 9mm saps and a Pack-a-Punch assault rifle because you will absolutely 100% need to fill that last battery up on round 8. Once round 8 begins, place the battery into the charging station and start filling it up with zombie souls and if you did end up giving it enough souls, your screen will then start to shake and you will be teleported to an entire new location. So let me tell you what's going to go down here. There will be a total of 4 floating areas that represent every zombie map that we have gotten so far in World War 2 obviously. The first area will be the final Reich and here you will fight one Westling and a couple of zombies. The second area is the darkest shore, here you will be fighting one assassin and a couple of zombies. By the way, go ahead and spray your 9mm saps and jack in the box because once you kill everything here, you'll get a max ammo. The third area is the Shadow Throne, you'll be fighting literally one Sizzler and a bunch of zombies here. Once you're done, you will then move on to the last and final area, which has the fish that we were guiding back on the boat. This is where things can get rather annoying, you'll be playing three rounds of cups and balls but with fish and buckets. If you don't know what that is, pretty much the fish will hide in let's say one of three buckets, the buckets will then shuffle around and you have to choose the correct bucket that has a fish in it. The first round will have three buckets and they move incredibly slow so this round shouldn't be an issue. The second round will have five buckets and they shuffle just a tad bit faster than the first round but it's still very easy to follow the correct bucket. And now for the final round, this one will have a total of eight buckets and these things move insanely quick so I'll let you know right now Every time you fail to choose the right one, you will have to go against a special zombie, and the more you fail, the more special zombies you will have to go against. The first time I failed, I got an assassin, the second time I failed, I got two Westlings, and the third time I failed, I got two Westlings and one assassin, so I think it's safe to say, don't fail more than three times. I honestly don't have any tips to give you guys for this round, I guess you could cheat by saving the clip and then watching it over and over again until you find the right one. Either way, when you get the correct bucket, you will then be teleported back to the boat next to Pack-a-Punch, and to your right, the pommel will now be on the desk. Hold square on it to pick it up, the challenge badge will then pop up on the screen and you are now finally done with the main easter egg. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you enjoyed and found this helpful make sure you drop a like on the video, share it around to help out other solo players. If you're also new to the channel you might as well subscribe while you're at it, I would very much appreciate it. If you have any questions let me know down in the comment section below, I'll respond as soon as possible and as always I'll see you guys in the next video.